I'm going to show you how to master the art of bird illustration in watercolor. And if you stick around, I'll show you my number one tip for making not only your bird painting stand out, but every single piece of art you create. So let's get started. Start with a drawing. I like to start all of my paintings off with a base drawing. I'll go in with a standard lead pencil, and then I'll go over it with a mechanical pencil, kind of get the fine details in. This is really critical to my work process and it really helps my paintings stand out. The more detail you get, the better your painting's going to be. I like to look at it kind of like a blueprint for your painting. The better that is, the better your painting's going to be and I think it is pivotal to my work process. I see a lot of people create paintings with kind of a whimsical style. That's perfectly fine, but this is something that really works for me and is critical to getting detail in my paintings. It's really important that you take your time. It might take you five hours, it might take you five days. I have paintings that I have painted over the course of weeks. I'll put it on a shelf, I'll pull it back out, and I'll add another detail. And that's perfectly fine. There's no rush, there's no hurry here. You want to make sure you are looking at it with fresh eyes and making the art the very best it can be. Which leads me to my next point, take breaks. It's critical to look at your painting with fresh eyes, and sometimes that gets really hard when you're sitting there staring at it for hours at a time. I think the biggest problems I've noticed personally in my paintings are when I get up for five minutes, I'll come back and I'll realize that it's not really what I thought it was, but you really want to make sure you're not settling for less than your best when it comes to paintings. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you are capable of a whole lot, and I just... Mm. The more you can look at it with a fresh perspective and fresh eyes, I think the, the better they're going to be. When it comes to birds, I think mastering the feathers is really important. There are going to be a few things you do in mastering the feathers. I think giving them kind of that rough textured look, I like to do that by getting the brush and by mashing it down in the palm of my hand. Another thing is really pay attention to the pattern of each feather. The way they flow and connect and being sure to even get something as granular as the, the tiny fibers on the feathers. A lot of this is it's very detailed and it might be overwhelming if you're new, but I think just going in with that mindset of detail and trying to make it more detailed and hyper-realistic is really going to help your painting stand out. Master the eyes. Now the eyes on a lot of birds are pretty simple. I like to leave this step for last. Usually it's just going to be really dark and there's going to be a really bright highlight. Sometimes birds will have um, brighter eyes. For example, like a mockingbird painting that I did, it was actually my first YouTube video. Um, it had kind of golden eyes, but you know, it's not gonna be a solid color. You wanna make sure you're adding darker hues, lighter areas, and always have those really bright highlights to kind of catch that shine and the gloss in the eye. And your eye goes straight to the bird's eye, and I think it's really important to get that right. Master lighting. So you've heard me talk about this in the past. If you can master lighting and shadow, your painting will be really good on its own without details, without lines, without anything else. So paying attention to the highlights, your light source, where it's gonna hit on your subject, the shadows underneath, the reflections in those shadows, all of these things are critical to making your birds stand out, to giving it depth, to giving it structure and shape. And that is something that I can't stress enough when it comes to painting. All right. Here it is, my number one tip to make not only your bird paintings, but every single piece of art you create stand out. The detailed game. Whenever I create a piece of art, I like to go into it, treating it like it's a game. When I'm looking at a painting, I try and think of everything that can make it better. Maybe it's lighting, maybe it's shadows, maybe it's some little details or something like that. A lot of times you can't even explain it. Sometimes it's just trying to capture the essence of something that goes beyond words, goes beyond rules. But when you have this mentality of this is a game and you're trying to put as much detail into your painting as possible, I think that really makes it stand out. The more detail I put into my painting, the closer I am to winning that game. That might be easier said than done, but I think that mentality just really helps me out. And that doesn't mean you have to make it perfect. I mean, my level of detail might be different than your level of detail, but once you put in a level of detail that you find is enough for the painting, it really captures the essence, then you've won the game. All right, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you next time.